Hey there, so in this video we are going to talk about VS Code extensions for WordPress development. So if you have just installed VS Code, you should have this um, extensions uh, in the VS Code in terms of uh, easy development process for the WordPress. So first ex extension I'm gonna add is auto rename tag so it's self-explanatory name it will auto rename your tag if you rename your tag so for that it is installed i'm gonna open a file let's say index.php and i will sorry I will add a tag let's uh, do this is tag and let's say uh, for some reason I want to change this tag and uh, rename the tag let's say span so it will automatically rename the closing tag as well so this is the basic usage of auto rename tag then Another one will be the git lens. So I will open this. Git lens. So it will provide all the git related feature uh, in, in the VS code. So I'm going to install this. And yeah, if you trust the publisher, then install it. I trust it. So whenever you see this, uh, it will uh, provide all the features from the GitHub. Um, you can git clone your uh, repo or push your changes to the git. You will see this all the uh, GitHub related stuff over here. So yeah if you want to have a specific separate video for git lens please uh, let me know in the comment section uh, because it will be a bigger uh, bigger length video so i'm not gonna explain each and everything in this video i'm just gonna provide the list of the extensions so git lens is done and the one is highlight trailing white space so i will go to and these are pretty basic i don't need to explain much because the name is self-explanatory and you will see in the demo that it will highlight the trailing spaces if there is in your code because if you are wordpress developer and you know the coding standard of wordpress they don't allow the spaces after the end of the line so this is uh, for that you you can see if there is a trailing space in your code or not so that's that another one is hook intellisense intellisense for wordpress so this is again wordpress related hooks that, that will auto complete for you so i'm gonna install that so once you start typing any hook it will provide you in uh, auto suggestions like this so that's that then this is the php doc blocker so if you are a good developer you always document your functions so this is for that if you install this and uh, you just need to let me show you an example so you understand how this works so i'm gonna open um, my plugin includes and then custom api so this is all well documented okay yeah let me open this so if you write if you write like this then this is coming from php doc blocker which provide kind of skeleton for your document uh, php documentation 
So that's that. And PHP intelligence again. This is specific to PHP. So it will provide code automation for the PHP. So I'm gonna allow this for development. Actually, open. okay i am not gonna do that right now but yeah that's that this is specific to php this previously this was specific to wordpress now this polar code it's not really uh, specific to wordpress but it's useful for any developer um, and there are a lot of polar code but i'll go with this first one uh, 1.5 million installations so so this is just to screen shot your code uh, in a stylish manner so if you can see over here you you will see that it generates the code snippet or code screenshot for you so it's for that then to do highlight yeah this is again not specific to wordpress but will be useful for any developer so while developing you might become lazy and thought of doing something later so that you might want to add something like this we'll do later so it will highlight to do something like this so this is for that then again tab 9 this is a free auto ai code generator so i'm gonna add this tab 9 it's similar to copilot but this is free i think copilot is also free but i am used to use this so I'm, I'm suggesting this one so here is the tab 9 ai and you have to sign up uh, then here it will provide a chat box over here where you can ask anything and you will get a response from them so these are some necessary uh, VS Code extensions you need to install in your uh, VS Code. So that's it for today. If you have any doubt question, please write down below the comment section. Thanks for watching the video.